Here's a quick trick where you can add a layer background. Now I could just change the background color here via project properties and the general section where I can change the background color. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a background color with a gradient effect to the whole world. So to do that, I'll go to vector, research tools and extract layer extent. Let's take a look at what this does. The input layer here is my world map layer, but you could do this for any layer you have. I don't need to change anything else. I'll just click the browse button and I'll choose where to save this to. I'm gonna save it as geo package, but if you want another format, choose save to file. I'm gonna put it here as world backdrop. Hit save. I like to change my layer name to match the name I put in previously. Okay run and close. I'll drag it below the world layer. Now we have a nice backdrop. Let's change this to a gradient fill. So it's on simple fill. Let's change it to gradient fill. Let's make it a color ramp and we'll use my nice, mm, nice blues. Hit apply and I'm going to change this rotation value to 90 so it is horizontal rather than vertical and I'll click OK. Now if I want this to be even bigger than it currently is, all I need to do is go to gradient fill and change that to geometry generator and I can type in buffer here, open bracket and I'll type in two here. The reason I type two is it's because the data here is in decimal degrees not meters. So it's two degrees. In this case, I'm going to change it to 10 degrees and hit apply. And you can see the effect that has. So that's how you can quickly add a backdrop. And then with the backdrop, I added a gradient fill and then I changed it to a geometry generator with a buffer. And that's a really useful little hack if you ever need to do something like this in QGIS.